Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video. On this video, I will talk about using HTTP Client Factory and Refit with .NET Core APIs. I kindly ask you to subscribe to my channel and like this video if somehow this was useful for you. My name is Raí Carneiro, I am Brazilian, Microsoft MVP, Microsoft Certified Trainer, and I also run Academia.net, it's a company here in Brazil where we teach Brazilian developers about .NET. Well, on this video, I want to go through something very common that you see on many API projects. Well, this code here in yellow, uh, this, there is no issue using this code. However, using HTTP client in a wrong way may lead you to resource exhaustion, especially if you have instantiated HTTP client for every request. So imagine that you have an API that when you get started, you only have a few requests and this code is going to be okay. However, if you have a higher load of HTTP requests for your API, doing something like this may lead you to some socket exceptions because you may have uh, not enough socket uh, available for each HTTP client that you request. So how to handle this problem? There is a library, it's by, uh, the name is Refit. It's a library type safe that turns your REST APIs into a live interface. The good things about it is that it targets .NET Standard 2.0 and also UWP, Xamarin, Desktop.NET for versions, for example, 4.6.1 and also .NET Core. I have here a project I would like to show you. And on this project, I have a very basic implementation Okay, and on this implementation, I have a controller uh, that goes by, by the name of ToDo. It's a ToDo controller that basically we have a service and this service, we are here injecting uh, an HTTP client here and calling this URL here. This URL, this is very simple. Uh, basically, what I'm doing is calling this resource and I'm getting an ID specifically for a to-do. So I have this to-do here with ID1. I'm able to call this doing this kind of approach. Another thing that I did here is on, on my startup project here, I have a configuration here inside the configure service for .NET where I have a service that I'm doing an implementation of my interface on this class. So I'm telling that I am registering this HTTP client and then I'm passing here the information for the base address that I have here on my app settings.json. It's very simple. I just have here the base, the base address. I'm passing my base address here and I am consuming this inside my controller. Okay. Uh, this is a good approach. Okay. Different from what I show you from my PPT, but there's another way of doing this. And this is what I want to show on this video. The first thing we're going to do here, we're going to install this package refit HTTP client factory. So just do a install package here on my package manager console. Just hit enter here and we should have this dependence for my packages here installed right here. All right. So the second thing that we're going to do, we're going to create a folder here inside this project and I'll give the name of abstraction. Okay, so right now what we're going to do, just right click here, add a new interface. And this interface, I will call it um, I to do API. Great. This interface, I will make it public. And then I will create here a task, an implementation. And this implementation, we have um, I enumerable. This I enumerable, I will pass a model that I have inside my project. It's a to-do model, basically a model for that return from the API. All right, just inserting here what I need, generics, etc., and the name will be get to-dos. All right, this is just our abstraction here. There is nothing implemented, and that's the magic when we are talking about using refit because I would turn this implementation, this abstract implementation into something useful. So here I have a property called get and this get implementation, 
I would say that it's going to lead to slash to do's. So basically, once again, I have these app settings here. This is my base address, and this base address I wanna uh, go to slash to do's resource. Okay, there is no implementation other than this. This is very easy. So right now, what I'm gonna do, I will open here my controller. And on my controller, you can see that I already have another code here where I'm doing uh, injection here. I'm passing here to my controller um, what is the service that needs to be implemented. And then right here, I have this HTTP GET to get the ID. I will copy this. And what I'm going to do now, I will do something different. I will remove this ID from here. I will call it GET to do's. All right, I will also remove this ID because we're not filtering for any ID here. And I will create a new API variable here. And this API will be using the REST service class from Refit. Now I will call here the for. And this for is where the magic happens because here inside this for, it's asking to pass a type and the type will be exactly the name of I to do API. We have the abstraction here, but we don't have the implementation. So I will just say that it's for this, AP, um, this interface and I will pass here what is the base address. I could have um, this, this implementation a little bit better, okay? Not by passing this base address here, but this is just a sample. So uh, I will not worry about it. In production, you should not put this string here. You should get it from the app settings.json in a better way. All right, and that's all I need. And now I need to return, um, I'm okay. And also um, await API get to do's. This is the method, right? All right, so let's test this. So let's see the difference here. Here I have a service that is being injected here on my controller. And this get to do here is coming from this implementation. And this implementation here is um, getting a HTTP client here also injected and calling the HTTP client get from JSON async. The difference here using refit is that we are not doing that. We are just caring about what is our interface and what is the property that we need to apply. There are many other resources and I really recommend you to take a look on GitHub to see everything. All right, so right here, this is what we're gonna do. So let's just place a, a breakpoint here. Let's run the project and let's see if this is going to run successfully or not. Well, the API is running and I will open Postman and here the API is get to do's. I will try it and let's see if this is going to work. It's working. The return is, is a 200 OK. All right. And here is the result. The same result that we have here on this browser. So we are doing, we're calling the same thing here, an API, an external API, and it's working successfully. So what we did here, instead of doing all the configurations going through the startup and doing the registration of these i to do service here we are just using this re this refit this library it's very useful if you want to call any other kind of resources outside your apis well i hope you liked this video and the source code is available on my github thanks for watching